the chocolates. What the frick is that? We got the chocolates. Don't they do dad jokes? <laughs> we got the chocolates. Wait, there's a podcast? Yes. Really? <laughs> Yeah, welcome back to another episode of the We Got The Chocolates podcast. I'm Lee. I'm Skin. And I'm Gody. And that is Mikus over there. Hello. Mikus films for us. Chimes in when we need him. You have probably arrived by accident, but definitely stay for a laugh. We Got The Chocolates. That is a win, as in it means to win. And Skin, yep. you had a win. Nope. <laughs> had a reverse win last Friday afternoon. One of the more frustrating others I can remember, I'll be honest. Uh, so... Just for a bit of context, we've got the wedding coming up, as you know, three weeks. It's very soon, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Glad you know. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> bucks, bucks this weekend to yeah. yeah. skin. Yeah. And we, oh, you know how with the bucks party, you're sort of meant to like keep everything secret. Mm-hmm. I was on the phone the other day to Baze and he asked me what we're doing on the Saturday and I just answered and skin was sitting next to me in the car. <laughs> This guy's had a mare before as well. No, what? Some of the great secret keeping. Yeah, yeah. No, but that's fine because uh, well, he does know what we're doing Friday because producer Dave the Boot that knows Jack shit, yeah. he also spilt the beans, yeah. but Sunday he doesn't know, so that's nice. Yeah, that's true. The day we go home, I've got no idea what's happening. <laughs> we're stopping at BP Coomera. <laughs> anyway, so, someone interrupted your story. Sorry, yes, Steve, but it was okay. great context. Yeah, no, so as I was saying, wedding coming up and uh, I've, oh, man, I've been flat out just preparing things for it, you know, just, just planning and getting stuff sorted for the big day. So Eloise gave me another job last week, one of <laughs> many. <laughs> she gave you one job. Yeah. Okay. okay, one of few jobs I, I had was to take our rings, the wedding rings, and her engagement ring to a jeweler uh, to get serviced and polished and make sure they're <laughs> looking all shiny on the day. Is that what you're well, just is that The word thing? serviced just mm. sounds like you're going to the mechanic. Re-roading well, and plated? I don't know. <laughs> I, I was wondering what's involved in that. I assume they like tighten it. And clean the, it, clean them up uh, and yeah, stuff and yeah, stuff. Yeah, clean them up, and, and then, they put Apple CarPlay in it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly that sort of thing. Um, yeah, so, so she was like, "Yeah, can you just run these to the jewelers at three o'clock on a Friday?" So I was expecting to be, I suppose, working and editing videos and things of that nature. It's like, yeah, just just take this to the jewelers. No worries. Where's the jewelers? The Sunshine Coast. <laughs> so that's just a, just a little two-hour drive. Well, it's also so school think, holidays as well, which is perfect. Okay, well, I didn't account for that because, yeah, because um, yeah, it got worse. So, so yeah, so it's like a little two-hour drive. I've The appointment was at 3.20 in the afternoon. I've left... Well, aimed, I aimed to leave at 12.30. I was going and as myself, we say, that's what matters. Time. It's all time. about where you aim. Yeah. We went horribly wrong. Uh, someone pushed a meeting back to 12.30, so we didn't leave until probably 10 past 1. But I'm leaving at 10 past 1 for a two-hour drive. Should yep. get there at 3.10. Yeah. What time did you leave? Uh, 10 past 1. Like, all good. I genuinely out the door in my car at 10 past 1, typing into maps. Like they Got the address up. It says I'm arriving at 3.10 for a 3.20 appointment. Yeah. All good. Mm. That's fine. 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 Ten Start minutes. Driving. Even Goaty says five minutes is all you need. Start driving. I've never yeah. said that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically you, Pete, because you two are the most fucking useless time manager I've ever met in my entire fucking yeah. life. Well, I thought I was fairly on top of it this time. I should be there 10 minutes early. That's respectable. I start driving and get maybe, I don't know, not like hardly even outside of Brisbane, like 20 minutes up the road and I'm, there's obviously a crash ahead of me and so there's a bunch of traffic building up. Get past that crash, think, yep, we're good. Nope, there's another crash just up the road. And it's like as I'm trying to get onto the highway to get up the coast. So I'm just like watching this estimated time of arrival just blow out. It's at like 3, 3.30, then 3.40, and it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And I'm sitting in traffic. So it gets it, it gets to about like the estimated time of arrival goes from 3.10 to 4.10 in the time I'm sitting in this traffic. So I call <laughs> I call them up to let them know. Like, I'm not going to be there at 3.20, but I'm on my way. And they're like, oh, no, nah, sorry, we close at 4. Cool. Okay. So <laughs> she's just booked in another. She just said, you'll just have to book in and come back next week. Like, we're not hanging around for 10 minutes. And I was like, okay, wonderful. No dramas. So, oh, yeah, book it in for next week. And then. I'm still stuck in traffic <laughs> at this point. You can't get off the highway. And I'm looking at the map. There's nowhere to turn off. I'm like trying to enter the highway and I'm looking at the maps and it says like you've, you've got another 50 minutes until you get to the crash. Oh, so I, Mitchell. Yeah. So I just sat there in 50 minutes of traffic to get to the crash, which was around an exit, which I then used to do a U-turn and drive back home. So I essentially left work at one o'clock in the afternoon which and essentially just drove straight home. Yeah. Which should be a 25-minute drive. <laughs> Took me three and a half hours. 
Yes. <laughs> That's what you call congestion. <laughs> <laughs> Not of the days of variety. <laughs> Can I play devil's advocate as well? I mean, and I'm going to be on your side a little bit as well, and then Eloise okay. as well. So wait, who's the devil then? Who are you advocating? Everyone's the devil. Okay, right. everyone's okay. the devil. Okay. Right. So I reckon booking the time at three thirty or three twenty Friday Arvo on school holidays is a bit. Yeah. How's your father? Yeah. What in would you have gone for? Oh, any other time. <laughs> yeah. I was hoping it would be first thing in the morning. Yeah. Perfect. I was, yeah. yeah I perfect. Was, I was. Yeah. yeah, it was a pretty rude shock when I realised it was an afternoon job. But then also, once knowing this, mm. could you have gone front foot, this might not work, I'm going to jump on, yeah. I'm going to change time? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, had I not noticed it at like 10.30 p.m. on the Thursday night, I probably could have done something about it. But yeah. No. yeah. I mean, the double crash is stiff, I think. And then oh. you've got to account for the ghost traffic. Yeah. Remember, you were telling me about the ghost traffic. Oh, yeah, exactly. That, that gets you. Except this was not ghost traffic. This yeah. was what is ghost traffic again? I remember you saying it. It's, it's like, sort of like it's when like something very minor happens ahead of you and uh, like a car swerves to go around something on the road or whatever, but them swerving means the person behind them, sl- like they slow down a bit, the person behind them sw- slams the brakes on, the person behind them slams the brakes on, and it just like slowly builds back and you end up stuck in traffic, which takes maybe 10 minutes to clear. And by the time you get up there, there's absolutely nothing there because yeah. Yeah. so if you've ever been sitting in traffic and you're like what is this like who crashed what happened and then like you never drive past any incident Casper. it was Casper <laughs> 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 you can't do that of course we did <laughs> you can't actually <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> it's the we same just, gag like, we, we finished we, the punchline at yeah, the same time yeah. without riding it oh, again it's crazy it's always yeah good well done it's always what's good uh, yeah, like, like you spend a lot of time together and make stupid jokes and have a we spe- sense of humour we spend an hour and a half together each week yeah right okay. here it's Almost like you see right through a skin. Because <laughs> we're ghosts. So I've got it out there. It's actually scary how good we are at this as well. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Boo skin. <laughs> All right, let's anyway. move on to maybe a joke of the week. Now, plenty of these left for us. Uh, we got the chocolates.com.au on the chalk line. Hopefully, skin enjoys this one. I've been told it's got some length to it again. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. We love That's it. Uh, nice. This is chosen by producer Dave again. So let's see how we go. Let's be good. <laughs> hey, fellas. Joey here from the United States. Joey, like the baby Roo. Got a joke for you that I would never dare to tell on air as a sports commentator. Here goes. A man walks into a pub and he orders a drink from the bartender. Bartender turns to pour his drink and he's taking in the environment around him. And he notices the music is very beautiful and he looks down the bar and he sees a very small man playing the piano. This guy couldn't be taller than a foot. So he says to the bartender, hey, how'd you get such a small piano player? And the bartender says, well, I have a genie. And the man says, no way. I have been so down on my luck. Could I use a wish from your genie? And the bartender says, sure. But I have to tell you, he's not a very good genie. And he says, I I don't care. I don't care. So he says, okay, I wish for a million bucks. Genie snaps his fingers. A million deer pop into the bar and populate the street all around the facility. He says, dude, what the hell? I thought you had a genie. He says, I told you, he's not a very good genie. Do you really think I would wish for a 10-inch penis? <laughs> Love the show, guys. Be well. <laughs> you know, what's the best part of that joke? What? When I made my second eleven go- debut in Adelaide, Cody presented me my hat. I got put on joke of the day for that morning. Oh, yeah. Told that joke. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. I first heard that joke four years ago. Oh, right. <laughs> Still very good, though. I mm. thought I was a genius. He told a genius. it very well. <laughs> yeah. A genius. Nice. Do you reckon his real name's Joey if he's worried about getting cancelled for sports commentary stuff? Maybe he gave us a fake no. name. Yeah, maybe. But he did break it down nicely for us. I was... Yeah, quite receptive of him letting us know what a small kangaroo is. It's good. Yeah, that that was nice. (laughs) (laughs) Written joke comes from Robert. Uh, I was doing laundry the other day. I asked my wife if she'd seen the stain remover. Mm. She replied, come again. I said, no, it's just barbecue sauce. (laughs) (laughs) 
very different colours. How are you getting confused with Jayas and barbecue sauce? <laughs> I would not think they're on the same. No, what, um, mayonnaise or hollandaise yes. or something like that. Yeah. Like the hex codes would be quite different on the old Lemetri scale. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't have a, an explanation for you. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right, Skin. He did. It was barbecue sauce. Okay. Yeah, that's. I think that's the same Robert O'Shields that also tweets. I was going to say that you and I every single Goaty and I every single Monday. Oh no! With way. a D's nuts mm. joke. Oh yeah. wonderful! Yeah. <laughs> and his brother uh, Sheffield. Uh, Sheffield Shields. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Okay, good. Excellent. Uh, joke of the week. It's brought to you by our friends at Better Beer. They've got five great tasting beers that you can check out, betterbeer.com.au. Uh, and then we are moving on to a listen to the chocks segment. Do I have a jingle for this? You do. Yeah. Oh, and no. it sucks. No, it doesn't. <laughs> It does not. Oh, actually, this one doesn't. <laughs> oh, no, this is the one I have yeah, to do. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to give it a second live. I regret live. saying it sucks. Sorry. Okay, here you go. Yeah, it does suck. To the chocks. <laughs> Easy that it is not easy to produce that, and then I'm just trying to get this sorted as well. Uh, firstly, this wasn't really a listen to the chocks because she's not really asking us anything, she's more telling us something. But I thought it was great. Uh, and on topic from what you just said, what surely when someone tells you something, you listen. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know you don't. It's actually fucking painful. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, the conversation we had, yeah, well, I know. I was more saying, I think the idea we listen to the chocks is generally people ask us for our opinion on something, whereas this doesn't. Okay. Sorry, I was not saying you should not listen to people when they tell you something. Okay. Obviously, go to tell me that thing you were talking about before. Other refrigerator. <laughs> what? Here we go. I don't know. Here we go. Uh, so from Emily. Hi, guys. A new nickname for you. I spoke to a guy at work today whose surname initials were HP. Now, obviously, you would think more in the Harry Potter vicinity. Oh, Mikus, okay. No, yep. but double-barreled. His mates call him Saucy. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. That's what they're going to like the printer line or something like that. Oh, HP Inc. Yeah, yeah Hewlett Packard. Hewlett Packard. That's where my mind went. So What's Hewlett Packard? Uh, HP. HP, the old company. Is that what the bloke's name was? Yeah, yeah. Hyperdash? Or what, like, I reckon it's I reckon two, blokes. two blokes. Two blokes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, Kerry was, was the P. Kerry Packard. <laughs> that up, I guess. <laughs> All right, nice. Thank you for that, Emily. Uh, now, then they get uh, a little bit more in-depth. Hey, guys, this one... <laughs> Yes, this one, pretty fruity. Uh, I should also say, <laughs> I mean, she's obviously lovely and got herself into a situation, which we will obviously help her out with. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll do our best. But the funniest thing about this is that the email said, can I please, hey, guys, can I please remain, remain anonymous because yeah. I don't really want my name out there. Yeah. But her name on the email, <laughs> like her address is her name at yeah. Yeah. hotmail.com or whatever. Yeah. I was like, yeah, uh, well, sure. just don't read that part. No, but she was saying, like, I don't really want to tell you guys my Who name. Oh, yeah. And I was like, well, you sort of already that's did by emailing. Movie. Yeah, but that's fine. Yeah. I mean, unless you also might be a fake email. Mm, could be. Uh, hey, guys, I'm seeking some assistance. I'm currently sleeping with someone and I don't know his name. Oh. Now, that would be quite awkward in itself if that was the end of the email. It's not. It's a casual arrangement. We met on a dating app almost six months ago. Exchanged numbers. The first time we slept together went pretty well, but then he was going overseas for like two months. By the time he got home and I saw him again, I realized I could not remember his name. I went back and couldn't find him on the app. So now we have been sleeping together pretty regularly and I honestly have no idea of his name. I can't ask because it's gone too far. I call him babe sometimes, which seems really weird because it's definitely not the dynamic. I feel terrible because for a casual sex partner, he's a solid nine out of 10. I've tried snoop his mail, but he always seems to be around, which is pretty standard because we're always hanging out at his place. Please, any advice would be appreciated. Also, not giving my name in case he listens to the podcast. Oh, so it's Australian. I would think. Probably. Well, other people also listen yeah, to the podcast, I mainly, guess. It could yeah. be overseas, but. Um, wow. Okay. Yeah, advice for that. Skin, I think she meant you. No. It's <laughs> <laughs> not my area of expertise at all. <laughs> I've had one relationship ever and I know her name. <laughs> not her birthday. No, 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 no. Her name might be about all I know, but I <laughs> got that. Okay, no, but before I get to the advice, how I don't I, I don't understand how this happens. If you don't how is she contacting him? How I'd via message or by via And he's just I'm got just, a random number in a Yeah, phone it might that, be like yeah. big dick or something like that. Yeah, oh, might have saved yeah. it as like someone 
Oh, the I app. Th- Mine saved it as the app. I, I, think, I've got out of 10, I uh, think I've got the hinge, answer. Hinge bloke or something. Hinge bloke. Okay. Yeah, yeah gotcha. that's, I yeah. assume. Okay. I mean, yeah. You ready for the answer? Yep. You call him off a private number and wait for him to go, hello, Steve speaking. Oh, oh my that goodness. That is brilliant. Goaty, well done. That's the answer for Megas, you. you that, agree no, with that? That's very good, yeah. yeah. That's what I would that's do. True. Yeah, because you're not going to go just like hello to like a private oh, number. Uh, yeah. You're usually going to just not I'm answer. I'm just not going to answer, yeah. Yeah, I'd answer it. Hey, hello, Andrew speaking. What if it goes to voicemail and she has to leave a message? Hey, oh, babe, so- just caught you off the wrong number, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just don't talk and hang up. <laughs> yeah, okay. that's what I'd do. That's, that's my answer. Good. Yeah. I was just going to go, like, try and find some document you need signed and get him to witness it or something. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a JP by any chance? <laughs> no. Buying a house here yeah. and I just need someone to watch that yeah. my signature. Can you buy a house with me? <laughs> <laughs> but also, surely if they're, like, hanging out at the house, like, yeah. maybe he's got roommates, like, yeah. have they not said the name? I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Well, he might live by himself. Yeah, that's true. It's a possibility people do that. People maybe do, do that. I mean, in this day and age, it's just too expensive. Well, yeah, yeah. Possibly Econ- live by the yourself. economy at the moment, how could you? Mm. Really? Mm. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, no, but maybe they're just very quickly in and out, get the job done. Oh, that's not what you were saying earlier in the email. Yeah. Surely, airdrop on. Oh, uh, the bloke has got. His name, yeah. like, have isn't, it, his name's just going to appear as the contact saved in your would phone. Would it not? Yes. Oh. Bloke. oh, really? Yeah. I would think. I thought you'd name your own phone and you go like, Lee's iPhone. That's mine. If nah, you know, all right. I've got, got you as Doogsy. And does mine say Doogsy's iPhone on yeah, Android? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> go to the Thanks. neighbor, knock on the door and just be like, hey, do you know who the bloke is that lives next door? Yeah. And they'll say the name. Shrewd yeah. You. Hey, I'm just trying to read his water meter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need his name. So you need a full elaborate costume. <laughs> <laughs> it should be that difficult. So if you're in Brisbane, Brisbane City Council, I right, ring yeah. them up, outfit, all right, and then go door to door knocking with a moustache. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle's in the background doing some random like, Instagram. S- Instagram. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a good app. We've yep. got it. Thank you. Great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. If, yeah. No, no, apparently they don't follow each other on social media. Otherwise, I would assume this would not be an email she'd be Does sending. Does she know where he works? Not that you would know this. Okay. <laughs> But surely LinkedIn. Do we have a LinkedIn? Yeah. Could we somehow look up the company, I see the employees of that company? Oh, yeah. How Genius. would she know all this shit about him? She doesn't know his, his name. His fucking name, yeah, yeah. Well, she did know his name, but she just forgot his name. But, like, well, she might be not. like, oh, he did works she? at an accounting firm and go to LinkedIn, see employees. Oh, he's listed as an employee. Mm. Bang. <sighs> Bang. Okay. It's his own fault for going overseas for two months. Oh, I couldn't I agree think. more. Yeah. <laughs> I think just keep being babe. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. Can we get through one more? Of course we can. a lot more on that. Uh, from Matt. Uh, mm. Hey, Chockies. Just Hello. want to use your platform to issue a public a pu- public, a public apology to a bloke from the train today after I had a real skin moment. <laughs> I was enjoying episode 222 on the train home from Sydney. That was a good one. As the train was pulling into Chatswood. Um, <laughs> yeah, do it. No, do, do the gear. Yeah, because skin that, remember, like, usually Wood's not overly chatty, but this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Of all the all the gear we've done over the like, last fucking two hundred episodes, that's the one you go at. Yeah, anyway, sorry. Right. That is back to yeah, was pulling, yeah, the train was pulling into Chatwood. <laughs> Chatswood. This bloke tapped me on the shoulder to show me that he was also watching the episode on YouTube. Oh, I mean, that's this cool. Is wonderful. To, this that is, is very cool. cool. I love the Chatswood. Uh, <laughs> now, this is where I could have done literally anything else in the world, but all I could think of was to awkwardly smile and look back down at my phone whilst he stood there for another minute waiting for the train to pull in. And boy, was it a long minute. <laughs> The shame filled me and I could feel sweat building on my forehead. Oh. The poor bloke just left there standing uh, as the train creeped to a halt. Hopefully issuing this public apology on the pod means he'll get a nice thrill from being mentioned. <laughs> so to my fellow Chalky who departed the train at Chatswood and was wearing a Kellyville Bush Rangers nice. Junior Rugby League football. <laughs> Club backpack. Sorry, next time I won't be such a skin. <laughs> that should be good. If he actually does like get in contact with us, that'll be actually really, really cool. Right? Yeah. He also, I just read the asterisk. There was an asterisk after 222, and yeah. I've read it as the bottom line, and it says, say 222 like Richie Benno during the apology, oh. please. Yeah. So I sort of missed that. Cody, can you do one for us? Like Q for 22. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Okay, would you rather? We've had a few sort of hypothetical debates in the past that have gone gone down reasonably well for everyone except Mikas. Um, and then we've had. Whatever. <laughs> sorry. And then so we've had a bunch of people sort of send some in and things like that. And, and yeah, notice a bit of a trend. A lot of people are asking sort of that type of question a little would you rather? Uh, 
uh, theme, I guess. So thought thought I'd throw a few of those out at you if you don't mind. Have you got them? I've got I've got a few. I've got one from the weekend actually, Skin. Yeah, but I'll I'll, I'll ask you about that later. Yeah, you no, do through some of the proper it. ones. Okay, okay, some of the actual ones that got yeah. sent in. Uh, would you rather know how you die or when you die? Uh, how? Really? Yeah. Well, I was going to say when. When? Yeah, when. Yeah. Nice. Okay. No, why, would, I, why on earth would you say how? Because you then avoid things. If it's like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're still going to die that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but like, okay, know. okay. If it's drowning, okay, I don't go in the water. Yeah, but you're still going to drown. Then you're going to drown because like, that's, yeah, that's how you sink. die. So He'll be no. doing the dishes one day, and, and then I'll bang. get fucking tipped over. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, you, but obviously, that's how you die. Yeah, but I can, just I, can, I can do that for so long to avoid doing that. You know what I mean? Like if it's drowning, for example. No, but it's still. Gonna, I think it's still going to be the same time. Like when it's still going to be at that same time. No, well, not necessarily because that's how, as mm-hmm. opposed to when. So you could just live till you're 110 and then go. Actually, I've had enough. I've I'm had a go Gary Garfield. <laughs> I'm going Harold Holt. <laughs> oh goodness me! What's Harold Holt? The Australian <laughs> Prime Minister, Minister disappeared. Well, in for a swim, swim at the beach. No one's ever seen him again. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good political knowledge by me <laughs> and just knowledge in general. Mm. Yeah. Harold Holt. Because yeah, you good. always use him for rhyming slang when you've got to go somewhere quickly, don't yeah, you? Yeah, got to get for Harold Holt. Oh, yeah. It's like, I've got, got a bolt. I've got a bolt. Yeah, I'll get you. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. where I've heard his name before, but yeah, mm. I didn't know the backstory. I also okay. finished reading this, not remotely. Uh, <laughs> that's that's good. Yeah, it's yeah, not remotely sure, related, but I finished reading um, Boy Swallows Universe oh, wow. on the weekend. Nice. Started in 2019, finished yeah. it this weekend. So, you so now I can watch the series. So Mick has stood like 75 day hard like three or four times a year. So you're yeah. doing 7,500 day hard because you're not going to finish <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I think it works if you go six months between reading pages. Yeah. <laughs> no, it still works. Okay. Um, but remember that, yeah, because some people, once t- one time John Butler Trio came up on this podcast and someone emailed in saying like, oh, thanks for the recommendation. I listened to him and loved him. And so hopefully it's the same with reading this book. Oh, okay. Meant Harold Holt somehow. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> what? Harold Holt was once in John Mulletry <laughs> and it was very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, but no, I would obviously also say when and yeah. just because it, it gives you an idea of what – But then, you're always like, then like, you can think about what you would do with the rest of your life. Yeah, but then you always say, oh, it's coming. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. But, oh, oh, oh. And then you have to die as well. You know but, what I mean? oh, the other reason is I think, Goaty, which you would appreciate, is that we've practised – that aspect way more because you know when like waiters are obviously pouring stuff into a glass for you and yeah. they'll be like say when yeah so it's just like more natural for mm. us to do it you know skin yeah good <laughs> <laughs> mate we're waiting on you for the next one again okay sure all right next one be would you rather be highly educated superbly attractive or have great social skills <laughs> for skin that's about you start yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're all three at the moment, Skin. Oh, I know. Social skills. It. Yeah. yeah. I'd actually go social skills. I'm the same. Well. Social yeah. skills. Because mine suck, so if I could fix that, it'd be nice. Mm. And I just feel like it would be the most beneficial thing. Like, you know, there are very, sm- very smart people who don't- Have any mates? Yeah, don't accomplish much, I mm. suppose. I don't have any mates, whereas whereas if I feel like if you've got good social skills, you could sort of- yeah. You're also highly educated and ridiculously good looking already, so- mm. That's and, true. And a big dong oh. as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we yeah. do know. <laughs> We've seen it. <laughs> Wait, are we just talking about skin or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. okay, so yeah. good looking everyone thinks I'm 20 years older than I am. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's yeah, good. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah oh, that's tough. I reckon I'm going – social skills is good, but no, I think probably – no, nah, not highly educated because, I don't know, probably attractive. You super For what reason? Prick. Well, I just feel like if you're attractive, social skills come with that. People want to hang out with you. You're I going actually, to learn nah, by practice. No, nah, I, I don't disagree. Disagree. I couldn't disagree. Anymore. I reckon you, if you have really good social skills, people will find you better looking. Yeah, and if you have really better looking, then people will find you socially good. <laughs> no, that's wrong. Yeah, I think that's right. They work both ways. Nah, 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 nah. All right, educated. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> None of the above. I'll have none. Thank you. This would have been mediocre. That's, that's 33% my decision. of all. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, and lastly, would you would you rather not be able to taste or be colorblind? Colorblind. Taste. Not be really? You'd yeah. rather not be able to taste? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You like looking at stuff. Yeah, but I, I just don't like... I don't know. Yeah. I just feel like you could just eat real healthy and like not, and you just wouldn't, I don't really care about food that much. I just like, I would just eat on whatever's real healthy all the time. And then I just, you never want to eat shitty food. 
That's actually, I didn't think I'd of it that way. I'd be a ripped oh, unit. Oh, that's quite that's smart. Actually, yeah. And so I you could see colour. Because yeah. then there's no attraction to eating shit food. Yeah. yeah. That solves a lot of my problems, I'll be honest. So it's like abs are made in the kitchen. That would yeah. be you. Because mm. you couldn't taste like Timothy Tams or anything like that. It'd just be. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. That's, that's yeah. the first example I thought of. Yeah. Okay. That's not a bad way of picturing it. Because I would have said colourblind because like people are colourblind. I assume there's also people that can't taste, are there? Yeah. No, yeah if you I've never met one. If you got that. COVID, you have like lose your taste for like a couple of weeks. Yeah. I think that actually happens so to me once. next week. Mm. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. all off a sick. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, Sorry? I don't know. I just have, I've never met someone, like you meet people all the time that are colorblind. Like they will often say like, oh yeah, no, I can't do that. I'm colorblind. Are there different uh, colors of colorblind? Red, green's yeah. one. Yeah, Chris yeah. Rogers is red, green, colorblind if you listen. And yeah, he's that's open. why he couldn't play pink ball tests yeah, yeah, or something. Yeah, cricket. Blurred in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nah, that f- boggles my mind that people with red green colored blinders can hit a cricket ball <laughs> <laughs> or go through traffic lot. Yeah. I reckon people make it up, eh? Just like, as in, like, I'm colorblind. I'm like, no, you're not. You just. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. What? No, I think you're 100%. right. 100%. I it's think like a lot talk, of people. It's like yeah. when people are like, oh, I've got ADHD. It's like, do you though, or do you just. Well, maybe. Oh, yeah, people just knows. like being dramatic with it. And they're oh, like, okay. oh, I can't see any colors. I only see black and white. And okay, I'm like, sure. What? You just okay. trying to look. I don't know. Well, well, everyone look. listening knows what I mean, I promise. But you're just saying people self diagnose themselves with shit they don't have yeah, sometimes. 100%. Yeah, 100%. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, and sure. so I reckon but people. But I thought you were saying right. colorblindness doesn't exist. No, fuck <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, it does, definitely. That's not what I meant. <laughs> okay, good. That would have been breaking news. <laughs> Okay, that's okay. why everyone Lucas looked at me. has been doing some serious research yeah. Okay, all right. I was wondering why I wanted to hit each other. Especially when you said everyone listening knows what I'm talking about and the three of us are listening, we're like, what, what are you talking about? What talking about? No, no, no. No, okay, that, yes, yeah, I think it does exist. Okay, because for, th- sec- for a second I thought we are going to cut out this whole segment because Migas has just gone rogue and just gone like, no diseases exist. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no decision. Apologies, no, sorry. Right, so you are saying color blindness does exist, yeah. but you don't think the higher percentage of people I, I, yeah, have it? Because I swear to God, every second person's like, "Oh, I'm color blind." Well, no, you know. well, this is my point. No one says yeah. I'm tasteless. I'm tasteful. It's also very I'm hard taste. thing to disprove. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's why yeah. I think. What does that taste like? No, then it can't taste. Yeah. It tastes like KFC. Well, it's McDonald's. <laughs> 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 okay, Skid, can I get to our one for the weekend, yeah, please? All right, so here's a story for you, Skid. Well, let me read it. <clears throat> Would you rather not to be picked for your own football club, so have the weekend <laughs> off, or instead of having the weekend off, play for the club your club is playing against and be beaten by 198 points? Weekend off. <laughs> weekend off. You're an idiot if you don't choose yeah. weekend You're off. You're an absolute Derek. Yep. That It'll- was us. <laughs> hey, well, we are two idiots. <laughs> We in my that. defense, we did that. No, there's no fucking. I'm so sick of this shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have I'm a sick of this shit. Your own poor behavior. <laughs> I have a defense, Gertie. <laughs> well, apparently your fucking they team didn't. didn't. They can see that in <laughs> <laughs> It's not our team. Unfortunately, we were both in the defensive <laughs> line as well. Well done. Just get any fucking touches. We're a little fucking kick out. <laughs> we got a lot of touches. We <laughs> couldn't have gone forward. The ball never went up there. Oh, there's a wind going both ways. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, they had more oh, players out there. I'm oh, telling you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, genuinely, yes, they had a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, my defence was they didn't tell us we were going to lose by 198. Oh, they I never lost. fucking do, do they? Oh, we probably wouldn't have wouldn't have rocked up. I thought it might have been an issue. I thought it was on the card, to be honest. I was thinking maybe 100. Yeah, that's fair. Which I could have copped. Yeah. So, you every couple so you've lobbed up to like fill in. Be so you know how we play for Alex Hills? Are you like still for the playing? the last five years we've played oh. for Alex Hills. Well, well, we haven't been to a training session. We'll make ourselves yeah. available. Yeah. 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 It doesn't look like we'll get picked. Yeah. <laughs> we did, Apparently they have 72 players on the book. So we messaged like last week and I, I saw Skid and was like, oh, it's round one this weekend. I was sending the coach a message yeah. and I was like, hey, mate, hey, then mate, You're yeah, putting yourselves in these situations to have to do this sort of no, shit. No, no, no. That, that wasn't even that. I was like, because we like playing. We don't like training, obviously. but we does? Yeah, exactly. But we like playing. Uh, and so so we were like, oh, you know, like sometimes last this time last year they were battling for numbers. I think they got they got beaten by like 190 points last uh, year yeah. in round one. Yeah. So was, and when we played round two without training as well. So we we were like, ah, oh, let us know if you need us. And he was like, man, we got 72 players, you know, chance. Like, yeah. Fair enough. Sweet. We'll have the weekend off. Uh, then we got a message. 
At quarter past 11, mind yeah. you, the game started at like 5 to 12 or something. We got this message at quarter past 11. Yeah. And they're, they're playing against Gimby, who probably for like four years have had no players. Yeah. Like every time they come to Alex Hills, they struggle to fill the reserves team. Like it's a two-hour drive from Gimby to Brisbane yeah. for them to play every away game, basically. So they've never had... Yes, great numbers. They were legends. Like one of the boys, the Ruckman, sent us a message afterwards and stuff to say, like, oh, I love your work, guys, and uh, so, sorry for my poor rucking or something like that. We're like, man, I don't think it was the rucking that was the issue. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so you just won by 198. Are you kidding? We played for Gimpy. We got pumped. Oh, <laughs> what is think. happening? How do you play? Uh, you just played for Gimpy yes. against yes. Alex Hill. Yes. 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 We filled oh in for that. Oh, my them. dear Lord. Yes. Yes. We filled in Stay for with us. Gimpy playing against our own team. Yes. But, like, we haven't been to training, so there's all these new fellas and they're all very good as it turns out uh yeah and we got proper dicked like the worst i've ever experienced yeah Mm. i kicked one of the two points there you go there's a little shot for you yeah Uh, behind behind. was it rushed you were on yep (laughs) (laughs) didn't make the distance (laughs) touch through (laughs) yeah <laughs> oh, that was in like the third that was early doors. I yeah. thought we were on. I, I thought that was the last point we could. Yeah, I was like, mate, we're going to make a difference here. I'm actually staggered skinny. You didn't like go to Gimpy training and you had to drop him off that ring. <laughs> <laughs> mate, I, I didn't make it. I think the part, the best part about this though, is that like the poor guys have, have, and they've have, they've copped some beatings in the last couple of years, and I think they've always struggled to get enough numbers to mm. come. Especially for away games, yeah. like playing at Gimpy, probably I'm sure That's they get more fun. people yeah. there. But away games, and like, so we're coming in at three quarter top. <laughs> the blokes just did like it's so funny what you clutch on to to try and be positive yeah. in those situations. So like the poor Gimpy blokes are coming in there. It's like, well done, boys. We got our heads over the ball. The free kicks really started to turn our way at the end there. But it's kind of looking at each other like, uh, boys. I think we're going to need probably 995 <laughs> free kicks. <laughs> <if we> can- <laughs> All from directly in front. <laughs> we a need 200 we meter need, penalties. <laughs> we need 1,200 meter free kicks. <laughs> I need them to bring off the send off rule so we're playing against four. <laughs> And even the guy, like the captain coach, he's like giving this speech. He's like, yeah. "We got better that quarter, boys. We'll keep getting better. Um, it might take us sixteen weeks, but we'll- <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> sixteen gals. Uh, we actually pre-recorded this next segment because it was with our mum, Skin, uh, your and my mother. She and she has like a job, uh, so she had to be quite. We couldn't. Well, we had to be flexible with her time because she's a midwife yeah. and she's at work today. So we had to pre-record this. Sure, here's how it went. All right, special guest on the podcast this week, and that is our mum, or Mitch, you and I, our mum, yep. not Mikus's mum. No, Mikus, no. Uh, no, no. Wasn't we, there for his birth. We, you weren't there? No. Nope. You are a midwife as well, so there's a chance you could have been there. Where were you born, Mikus? Did we ever find uh, that out? Warunga Hospital in Sydney. What in the world? Definitely okay. not there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just wasn't yeah. expecting it. I feel like sometimes you say things and I'm like, I don't know you as well as I thought I did. Yeah, well, yeah no, I've Sydney. never worked there. <laughs> you were born in New South Wales. Did you know that skin? Nope. Neither. Oh. Um, anyway, yeah, Janelle, uh, she's actually been on the podcast before, I think, but not for a long time. I don't know what episode that was, like 150. Yeah, somewhere yeah. around there, I want to say. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So welcome, Mum. Thanks for having me. I feel like that time I told stories about you and I never got invited back. <laughs> 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 I don't think that's what it was. I don't know. Well, we did used to do it in your house too, famously. So yeah. actually, it's a good effort that you've only been on once when 150 of the episodes are in your house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh, well, yeah, we accidentally call you Dizzle most of the time. Again, that's pretty hard to explain mm. uh, as to why it started as Mumba Spinators. Yeah. Don't. And well, no one would understand. Sure. It doesn't make sense to your own mother. <laughs> yeah. So don't try to get anyone else to understand. <laughs> yeah, shorten to Nate's, then Nate Dizzle. Then yeah. Nate Because once you shorten it, then you obviously want to like it. <laughs> <laughs> That is the logical next step with the big name. <laughs> Nate's, yeah. <laughs> Nate, Nate Dizzle, Jazzy, Jazzy Fizzle, Fizzle, then back to Dizzle. And, yeah. and now what happens to me is that when I go to the supermarket and I run into your friends from across the ages, yeah. I know kind of what era you were friends with them by what they call me. Right. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one ever calls you Janelle. Yeah. Even when you like people say it now, I'm like, that's weird. Who is that? Yeah. Who is that? Yeah. 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 Very strange. But Dizzle, the reason that you're – on this episode with us today is because the other day at lunch we were sort of getting stuck into all these like little tongue twister things. Yeah. Type of, type of 
Testing. Yeah. Testing tongue yeah. twisters. Tests. Testing tongue twisters, which is <laughs> that's a weird yeah. tongue twister in itself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is just strange because you brought it to the table. I'm not sure. Like you, you're still in touch with Reader's Digest somehow. Is a little bit here and there, and uh, there, it's it's great for all of those little bits and pieces of information <laughs> that life you make your life so much better. Yeah. without even trying. Yeah. Right. Because we, I don't think as a family we were ever big on our tongue twisters back in the day. Well, you made up enough nonsense <laughs> for any family plus the next door neighbours and halfway around the block, so, so we had no yeah. need. So I'm not really sure why we started doing this at lunch the other day, but it was certainly courtesy of like an article that you brought to our attention and then we were in the midst of doing it skin. Yeah, and just obviously realised that we should sift bar. Very common expression. I'm sure everyone's already across it, but for yeah. the first time listener, you'd obviously got to save it for the podcast. So. Yeah, that's the acronym. That's, yeah. <laughs> Sif, uh, yeah. Save it for the podcast. So that is what we've done. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, Dizzle, you said that Reader's Digest had like a list of 40 that are meant to be ridiculously tough. We probably don't have time for 40, but we're happy. We stopped ourselves from doing any of the ones that you're going to give us here just to see how we go at tongue twisters. What are a couple of your favorites, do you reckon? Okay. So this one's starting off a fairly simple one. No need to light a nightlight on a light night like tonight. You actually said that quite quick. That sounds somewhat yeah, that simple. Well yeah, come on, I allowed to read it? Yeah, come yeah. on. All right. I'm not going to remember it. But I've got to say it quick. Obviously, yeah, that's the whole that's idea the of tongue idea, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, here we go. Uh, so watch and learn. <laughs> no-, <laughs> <laughs> no need to light a nightlight on a night like dark tonight. <laughs> Oh, what the yeah, frick? That's a clinic. <laughs> that was a free we lesson. <laughs> we learned how not to do it. I think I said 25 times. <laughs> All right, no, I'll show you how it's done, obviously. No need to light a night light on a night night like. <laughs> Fuck! Your <laughs> first one was in slow motion. <laughs> Damn it. All right, so obviously, now yeah, this is for the real lesson. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no need to light a night light on a night night like. <laughs> Okay, we are. Yeah, so Didn't difficult. you say that was the easy one, Mum? <laughs> right. What's the what second one? You go for it? <laughs> <laughs> this should be good. Are we going to say more? This is the one that I personally find the most challenging. Oh, great. Okay. Um, I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she just <laughs> <laughs> This can't be good. <laughs> this is dangerous. We're going to say some ropey uh, stuff here. All right, so obviously quick. So all you need to do, I find um, quick deep breath from the diaphragm, mm. and then I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she, she shines. Oh, my gosh. That's, that's the, inevitable. Yeah. That's that was up. always happening. That's, that's I, I don't think I can get that, though. Uh, no, that's a sneak off. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she she sits, she shines. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Yeah, that was good. Okay. You got yeah. through on skate. Yeah. 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 I swear it, anyone? Yeah. <sighs> I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop where she shines. <laughs> she sits and where she sits, she shines. That was good. That's actually really yeah. good. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Did you see, by the way, though, speaking of this, that McDonald's also have like a new Big Mac mm-hmm. chant that they're testing people on? To all beef patties, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. Yep. No, no, that's not right. <laughs> okay. is it, well, it is that sort of one. No. Yeah, that seems similar to what I'm looking at. Yeah. Two all beef patty special sauce lettuce cheese. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah Pickles onions on a sesame seed bun. You fool. Okay. Yeah, yeah what's a that? burger with no sauce? Yeah. <laughs> that's what I've been saying. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, but that is the big back chat that we've got in front of us. That's How did you do that? We haven't even given it to you yet. I know, but I'm clever. And oh. also... That was on every television commercial from for as long as I can remember <laughs> from when I was, well, no, that's not true, when I was young. Okay. Yeah, well, apparently, like, they gave you a free Coke back in the day, if you could say under four seconds. That's what you were saying, wasn't it? Yeah. I I personally never made it in under four seconds. Oh, we practised and practised and practised, but I'd always get a little bit starstruck in the moment and fumble the words, but, yeah. Under four okay. seconds for a free coat. For a free coat. I'm taking this oh, out. Skin yeah. start Drink, the time. Yeah. Surely four seconds. Patties. We got that, don't we? Okay. Two all beef yeah, patty special sauce, yep. lettuce, cheese, pickles, and onion on a sesame seed bun. Okay, you're actually very good at it. Thank <laughs> But not as good as this. <laughs> <laughs> Three, Here we go. Two, one, go. Two all beef patty special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickle, and a two got onion. Oh. Yeah. Close. Oh, no coke, yeah. Mick, as you ever go. Yes, sir. If you actually want to see how it's done. Okay, if you actually yeah. want free coke. That's uh, true. This is how you would do it. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickle, and onions on a sesame seed bun. That's oh. actually it. Oh, oh, oh get me a Coca-Cola. <laughs> Come on, How many 
three seconds was that? That's three and a half with a little break in there. And as with well. a little pause. Yeah, I was, like, I was you put a stop for a second. Oh, jeez. That's, oh, that's, that's good. Oh, Mikus has got a free cake. Yeah. yeah. Can we have a go at timing me? Oh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. I never could do it when I was young, but. All right. Three, <laughs> two, one, go. To all beef patty special sauce, lettuce, cheese, spinach. Spinach! <laughs> <laughs> no spinach, no spinach. No, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give us a crack. Hell yeah. All right, just getting all time for you. Three, two, one, go. Two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. I've got a 3.56. You're happy with that? Mate, these guys must be handing out that much Coca-Cola back well, That's in the probably day. why they stopped that's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I also don't think you're allowed to read it off the thing in front of them. Oh, uh, yeah. oh, oh yeah, you've got right. to recite okay, it. Okay, I see what you're saying. Oh, this is going to be a Was I meant to yeah. say that? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Actually, so back in the 1974, they didn't have iPhones in front of them. I yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can assure you. Okay, I'll be I was there. Straight from memory, straight from memory. Here we go. Ready? Well, I should probably get the time wrong. <laughs> from the memory. So from I'm memory. Okay. Well, it's from memory. Three, two, one, go. Two all beef patty, special sauce, sesame seed no. buns. That's <laughs> an early bun. That, that is, is an is early a, bun. That is a good burger. <laughs> one of the great burgers. Two all beef patty, what, special what sauce on, on a bun. Two patties, <laughs> special sauce on a bun. It's not bad. Hold the lettuce, hold the cheese, hold the pickles, hold the <laughs> onions. <laughs> well, you've got the Big Mac minus all that That's other shit. That's hard to go from memory. You try to go from memory, biggest. Go. No, stop looking down. So from memory. Uh, uh, <laughs> three, two, one, go. Two all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, onion, pickles on something on a sesame seed bun. No. Was- what did he miss? 4.0. No, I miss it. miss it. I didn't hear cheese. a cheese. Yeah. Obviously no one was taking a photo. That's why you forgot that. <laughs> cheese. Oh. <laughs> You've really got no one working with you. You <laughs> suck. <laughs> We're finishing with a game as per usual, and this week it is Humdog Millionaire. I'm humming up, so you better get this humming started. What happened? I think I forgot the lyrics. Oh, nice. I mean, they're tough. You we put get- humming in the song <laughs> twice. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Three, two, one. I'm humming. So you better get this humming started I'm humming up, I'm humming um. This guy sounds so good at Skip's wedding when we sing that live I can't uh, wait, are we still doing that? No oh. That's no, that was, Is that, that ever a thing? No, not at all that is. Yeah. Also, Skin, you know in that When I talked about one of the guys from Gibby sending us a message yeah. He said in his last line of the message was <laughs> Thanks for playing boys, Skin Hope the penis is healed fine <laughs> Remember that Remember that phase of your life where we'd walk around and like random people that you didn't know would just say, Skin, how's your knob? Yep. That's the, still the fucking now. trivia bloke did it the other night. Oh, it still happens. We went to trivia yeah. last Monday night. <laughs> he, he was very subtle though, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, like, he's like, oh, this result's going to hurt as much as his penis or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but when he was introing to the crowd. Yeah. Yes, the whole crowd, yes. <laughs> <To> everyone, <laughs> uh, also trivia. We, you know how we always say, we're not playing this at the moment, but we know how we always say, go to... Yeah, let you know. Mm. Let us know if you need him for trivia. He's a gun. Uh, turns out, what we think is a gun versus what actual people that are good at trivia mm. think is a gun. Yeah. Uh, to put that in perspective for you, we played last. What was it? Tuesday night. Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday yeah. night. I want to say we came second last with forty six points out of sixty. Is that right? Yeah, I think it's forty six out of two. Six. I think. All right, forty. We'll say forty four. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> forty four. Forty four out of sixty. Seventy something percent. The team that won. Got 63 out of 60. <laughs> yeah. That is quite tough to do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say they cheated. There you go. I've said it. Yeah. Okay. Well, there was also like got 21 right. other teams between us and them. And so oh, yes. we were. And yeah. they all cheated. Yeah. yeah. Is that what you're saying? I don't reckon. Yeah, sure. That's, That's what I was saying. Yeah. They handed out bonus points to anyone that got, oh. got super involved throughout the night and we we did not. We got bonus beers, yeah. which we forgot which, to buy. Which we forgot to buy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> forgot to buy. <laughs> Sorry. Wouldn't have been a great bonus. <laughs> 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 idiot. Sorry. <laughs> okay, guys, for your prize, you can buy some beers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Full price. <laughs> Yeah, well, one guy got bonus points for doing an incredible Donald Trump impersonation. That was that good. Was very good. Was he good. was like majestic. I don't know if that should nah, go wrong, in the same wrong, sentence. Wrong, really. Mm. Trump and majestic. Creepy. Creepy. <laughs> he, was, yeah. he was creepily good at it. Yeah. yeah. Spot on. So what we're saying is though, if any other pubs want us to come to Trivia Night, we're coming. That, 
And yes. we're going to the 100 yeah. yeah. And we're also humming in this game. Oh, that's what I did oh, there. That's a segue skin. Yeah. Uh, so basically, the game, the, the game, the way it works is that uh, the Google app will let you hum a song. <laughs> you segued after you'd already played the jingle. <laughs> oh, yeah, damn it. <laughs> Doesn't matter. That's basically a switch it. It's a oh, reverse segue. Yeah, yeah. I segue back towards the jingle. Yeah, just press the edit button. <laughs> Uh, it'll tell you, yeah. So the Google app tells you the song you're humming and the percentage you're humming matches the song. Yes. I've never said hum that much in a sentence. Actually, I probably have. I said, <laughs> I said it while you were batting the other day. <laughs> As in, I hum. Yeah. That's what I like about the word hum. You can use it negatively, but then also positively. Like if we're humming along, it's like mm, we might be going, going quickly. Well. Yeah. yeah. Whereas if you hum, Mikas, it's like, mm, hey, you shit. Suck. Your shit. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's a great bit of knowledge for everyone. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got a random <laughs> song generator. His name is Dave. And uh, he is going to tell you, Goaty, because I think you're humming first. Have you got the Google app there? I do. It's on Mitch's phone. What's your passcode, mate? Dave, the Brit, the most <laughs> jack shit. Can you please tell us uh, what song Goaty is humming? So, Goaty, you're doing We Will Rock You by Queen. It couldn't be any easier. That is an easy song. Well done, Dave. All right, identify song. <laughs> we will rock you, Queen. Forty-one percent match. I've seen better percentages, but also that's a pretty strong start. Mm. I so I've seen. A lot it's also works. got "We Are the Champions" by Dolly Parton in here as well. What was she do a version of? Wait, is that? We no, are that's a different song. We are the and champions. also Moses, the guy who parted the seas as well. <laughs> Dolly Parton the seas. <laughs> Come on, skid. Yep. Uh, all right, wait, Dave. We need you again. What song is what is forty one percent? Forty one, my got? finest. Oh, well done, Cody. It's a successful run chase. Uh, well, it might be. Skin goes well here, Dave. What song is he humming? Skin, you're doing "Sweet Child of Mine" by Guns N' Roses. There's a chance Skin doesn't know it. I know one line, and it's "Sweet Child of Mine." I'll just sing that over and yeah. again. <laughs> just sing it. Yeah. Nah, it is called "Hum Dog Millionaire Skin," so you've got to hum. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that does not come up at Oh, down the bottom there. Sweet child of mine. Look at me go. 8%. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, if that beat fucking 41%, I'll just that fucking phone out. Have you started midline? I'll just start no. at the. Oh, mm. oh, right. Sweet. And then you had no idea where to go after that. No idea. Yeah, yeah. I've been the same yeah. as you. Yeah. Mm. All, All right. Go to 41, skin with 8. Disco? Disco Dave, that is. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Producer. <laughs> Mikas, you're doing Don't Stop Believing by Journey. Oh. Mm. Again, I, I could, oh. well, have you done that before? Do, can no. You do the, from the verse. Yeah, I could do that, mm. but I probably won't. All right. Yeah. So you could do right at the oh, start, no, couldn't I'm you? Out of it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So then if you just hit identify, so identify song. songs, what we're looking for. Yep. Even, even I know that. What's the song? I've just forgotten what the song was. Don't Stop Believing by Journey. It's, I don't know if I'm thinking the right verse. Well, you need to start believing okay. by Journey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm still having that. It's a hundred percent, surely. Forty-one. Forty-four. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely thought that was the original. Yeah. I thought that was a hundred percent. Same lyrics and all. You, your turn. Okay, forty-four percent by the Glee cast. It's fine. Migas, you must have done it in a higher <laughs> you've done it in a higher octave. Yeah. Yeah. Surely. That was better than the original. Well, Dave the said Glee the version. one by Journey. Yeah. And well, they've they've picked you as Glee, but that's all right. Uh, forty four percent was it? Out of Mikas's control, I'll, I'll be honest. <laughs> Are you saying Google sucks? Is that what you're saying? Are you saying he's more of a Glee guy? Mm. I love Glee. I actually do really yeah. like Glee as well. Are you more of a butter or more of a gay guy? Uh I'd probably just go butter. Mm-hmm. Who's gay? Like it's, it's like it's like a type of yeah. It's like it? a cooking fat, basically. Is it really? I think it'd mm. be better for you, I reckon. Ma- not margarine. It's not the same thing. Oh, I mean, it's just no, I'm saying time. margarine later. <laughs> 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 All right, Dave. What have you got for me? You have got "Eye of the Tiger" by oh. Survivor. There's no oh. more overrated song on the planet than this song. There, that's go. actually fair. This is a shit song. <gasps> is it really? Yeah, mm-hmm. one of the all time. One of the great pump up tunes. Oh, it makes me want to fucking lie down. <laughs> <laughs> that's the opposite. That's the opposite of pump up. Yeah. Actually, no, that's probably deflate. It's <laughs> good. Yeah, good. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Oh, that really hurts. I've got Rocky theme song, 41% match, and then Eye of the Tiger by Survivor, 33% match. Is, so, is it not the same thing? Oh. Is it? Well, it, Rocky theme song I is... I thought the Rocky the theme song was like something different. <laughs> oh, it. Surely if you got 41% of that Rocky theme song, it's got to be the same thing. So what you're saying is you got 41 plus... I've got 41 plus 33. I've got 72%. <laughs> no, I don't think don't. that's how the game works. <laughs> Absolutely that's not. In the fine print. So yeah. wait, that means that Mikus has got the chocolates in this game? Is that right? I'm yeah. two from two in this game. This no game's way. getting to yeah. Google feud limits, I reckon. No, it's Are not. No, this is a good game. That was so much better, I reckon. <laughs> Hold up. Mikus, that's I think I, maybe I just Thank hate you. Google. Yeah. yeah. You always did tell you were more of a Yahoo guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Or Bing. Yeah. Ah, nice. Jeez. Ask Jeeves. Or Do they all still work, Duck, these Duck, places? Go. What? That's another. Is that's it really? Browser, Search engine. It? Yeah. Firefox, another one. Dang. They better. Look at me go. I'm on a roll. Yeah. I oh, think yeah. you're doing the. Uh, oh, you're it could for, be more. You're, you're in, in for, for an X. X. You're in for an X. And remember, we've got that um classic sound that we use, which is this one. <laughs> oh my god, what was that? Yeah, because it's an X, so it's like Wolverine's <laughs> claws, and it goes across a record, <laughs> so it scratches it. That's the go. new sound, girl. Okay, all right, uh, <laughs> guys. Uh, baby boy, baby boy, born without a penis, an extremely rare case. Young Timothy, twenty three. Exactly the same thing happens, my sister. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay. okay. That's so rare. Oh, well done. That's fantastic. Right, yo, that is another episode of the We Got the Chocolates podcast complete. And as per usual, Skind has got one piece of homework for you this week. Yep, check us out on YouTube, if you don't mind. If you are listening to this, just the audio version, I suppose, on Spotify or Apple or something like that, feel free to go have a watch on YouTube. That would that would be nice of you to do. Great visuals. If you're already watching on YouTube, watch something else. <laughs> of ours. <laughs> on our channel. <laughs> on our YouTube channel, I guess. <laughs> that would be nice. Go and check out the Sidemen. <laughs> That's great. Oh, they go down. Nice. Uh, remember that if you're out there having a chin wag with your mates this week, then you're absolutely getting the chocolates. We love having you here, and we'll speak to you again this time next week. And as always, good luck in the future. And that's stumps. Love you. Love you. <laughs>